I'd like to share with you something that's very important to my heart, the implements that we use in the hula. The first one that I'd like to share with you is the pohakuli'i. This is ku and this is hina, the upright male stone and the soft round female stone. Perhaps someone walking down the beach idly picked up a pair of stones. The first musical instrument. Ai hemotutaura, hemotutaura ni ho ameni iho, itaurura ia tavai ho atane, otaura natara i harari i haratara tau mate tua ore hua. To add complexity to the music, we can use two sets of stones. The ili ili, or pebbles. Also from the sea is the pupu, the shell, leho, kauri. As you can see, percussion is very important in Hawaiian music. The Hawaiians also had rhythm sticks, kalaau, in many different sizes and lengths. This is the small size used for the hula noho. Kona kai o pua i kala, i kala i o pua hi nano ua i kamali e. Eka o hi la i ke kukuna a kala, ku ula ko ili i ke kai. Keka o hila i ke kukuna akala, ku ula ko ili i ke kai. Ha ina kai no o ku ula ni no li ho li ho no la he i no a. Aina kai noa o ku ulani no li ho li ho no la hei noa. Hei noa no kalani kavi li ho li ho. From the bamboo groves, we get other hula implements. The sound of rustling leaves can be made by the puili, split pieces of bamboo used as rattles. Eke eke, the bamboo handheld xylophone, or also called the hand organ, are made from sections of bamboo. The nose flute is an instrument found throughout Polynesia. It's also made from bamboo, a single length with the node forming one end, holes burned into it. It's a lover's instrument. The Polynesians believe that from your mouth lies can come, but the breath that you breathe through your nose is straight from your heart, pure, and speaks your truth. So a boy, if he wanted to woo a girl, would make himself a nose flute and sit outside her house and softly play a melody of his love. Most 
people are familiar with the shell trumpet, the pu, used at luau's and at hula shows. But for the people who lived up in the forest, bamboo again. <laughs> The trumpet from the ocean, the poo shell. Another kind of shell comes from the coconut to make the uli uli, the rattle we use in hula. Perhaps you've seen this type, the brightly colored feather uli uli. These were popularized in around the 20s, 30s, 40s, and they're still in use today. But the ancestor was this, a simple shell filled with seeds or stones, a leaf handle wrapped with cord. As it evolved, it gathered feathers, and then eventually became the brightly colored instruments today. This hula he'iia dates from the period of the monarchy, when King David Kalakaua, the merry monarch, reigned. Ai a ia i he'iia la. A ia i he'iia la i kanalu e he ana. A ia i he'iia la i kanalu e he ana. Ea 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 ana u i ki i ka hala a o i a a e kai ana u i ki i ka hala a o i a a e kai ea 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 a ina mai te puana la o hala la i kanu kumanu a ina mai te puana la o hala la i kanu kumanu. Of all the instruments used in hula, probably none excites the imagination as much as the Polynesian drum. Hearing the wild hula drum as the dancers move across the stage. This is an ipu hula, a small gourd drum. More common, you'll find the ipu heke ole, made from another type of gourd. It has a small head and a large body. The head acts like a megaphone, and the body gives it that wonderful tone. Another drum used in the hula is used by the chanter instead of the dancer. The ipu heke. It's made from two gourds. A large gourd forms the body, the primary resonating chamber, and a small gourd forms the top, a secondary resonating chamber, giving it a more resonant, complex tone. They're stitched together and glued in the old-style drums with the sap of the breadfruit tree. Ai hemotutaura, hemotutaura ni ho ame ni i ho itaura ra i ata vai ho ata ne o tara na tara i harari i ara tara tau mate tua ore hua. The king of the Hawaiian drums is the pahu, carved from the trunk of a single tree, often covered with shark skin. This drum originally 
was the sacred drum used in the temple. It was brought to the islands by Laalmai Kahiki when he had it attached to the foredeck of his great double-hulled voyaging canoe. Imagine the sound of the drum resonating off of the ocean, enhanced by the two huge hulls acting as resonators for that great ceremony. 